அம்மாசம்புந்தஸ் ஹோமேஜ் டு த பிளெஸட் வான் த புலி அண்ட் லைட்டன் புத் டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இன் தம் டுடே ஐ வுட் லைக் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த கர்ம ஆக்ஷன் அண்ட் ரியாக்ஷன் இன் புலிசம் கர்ம இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் மிஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் கன்செப்ட் misunderstood the uh, factor of dharma in uh, among buddhists as well as non buddhists so buddha uh, the word karma has the meaning uh, to work or do or act carry out or perform these are the word of kar the root of the karma and in buddhism karma refers to the idea that intention mental verbal and physical actions are called karma buddha said chetana ham bikave kamang vadami i say that it is the intention uh, that is we can call karma chetaitva having thought kamang karoti you do karma either by mentally verbally or physically so very important aspect of karma is the intention so if you do something without a uh, intention then you will you will not have vipaka or the results the fruition or the ripening of the karma because the inter intention is the integral part of the karma so let us take this example for example if i ask you if somebody comes and uh cut somebody's body with a knife is it a bad karma or good karma perhaps you might say you might answer it is a bad karma because somebody is cutting somebody's parts of the body but if it is done by a surgeon if it is done by a doctor in order to perform an operation his intention is to heal the patient his intention is to release the person from pain and get better on in his health health wise but in case if there's a some thugs or criminals try to uh, cut your hand or some part of your body with a knife sharp knife in order to steal from you in order to take take things from you of course it is a bad karma because his intention is attached with greed attached with craving that is why he is doing this harmful act towards you so it is the intention so you might think karma some people think karma is stored somewhere in the universe somebody is recording it no karma is aspect of your consciousness karma is not something outside from your consciousness it is within your consciousness with it is within your mind you know when you start to to do things you are habitually trying to do things and it becomes part of your character let's say you are you have a great desire great uh, craving for some food then you want to eat it every day so the craving will increase gradually it become a habit habit become a karma habit become your part of life so it is all mental the aspects of the karma is experienced by mentally let's say you are walking on the road and you saw one person with a wheelchair and he is uh, try to go uphill in the road and it's difficult for him he doesn't have enough strength and energy you go and push his uh, wheel chair so that he can go easily and nicely 
to his journey or on the way halfway you help him to in on the uh, the uphill and he was very happy but nonetheless he he did not thanks you he doesn't say a word but he goes away but still you feel that you have done a good thing and you feel positive about it you feel a uh, very happy about it even you might go home and tell your uh, friends or uh, parents or uh, uh, that you help uh, such a man and it you know that the karmic results you can experience here and now so vipaka is the consequences or the results of such action if something bad happens they say it's my bad karma normally the misunderstanding we have in our society if something bad happens we always uh, debit this uh, bad thing happened to the karmic account but actually it should be mentioned we should say like this it is the vipaka of my bad karma it is the result of my bad karma it is not by my bad karma it is the result i am experiencing the results of my bad karma but people say always it is my bad karma and also if i am uh, experiencing bad karma bad vipaka i have committed a bad karma before as a result of that bad karma i am experiencing this bad result the misunderstanding we are having in the society is called everything that happens to us due to ethical or unethical deeds we did in the past this is the great misunderstanding we are having about karma because everything happened to us is due to past karma ethical or unethical deeds of our past karma this is very dangerous Uh, misunderstanding this this cause very harmful uh, situation uh, because if you uh, think that everything happens to you is due to bad karma then you don't have a free will in buddhism the ability to think freely the ability to take decisions and do carry out execute these deeds is one of the very important aspect in buddhism so how did the buddha get this uh, knowledge about karma in the evening when he was sitting under the bodhi tree before his enlightenment he he went to many layers of different uh, levels of meditation and he reached different jhanas the many uh, mental higher level of tranquility in his mind when he is having this tranquility he experienced three vijja or tevijja uh, this tevijja is called pubbe nivasa anusthati jnana and chutu upad jnana and asavakya jnana these are the very unique special knowledges he realize at the under the bodhi tree when he was about to uh, gain enlightenment about to become a buddha so the first one is he saw his uh, all previous lives he lived one life 10 lives 100 lives he was a king he was a prince he was a farmer he was a normal man so he was born there born here he could uh, retrieve he could go back and see all his previous lives this is called pubbe nivasa anusthati jnana he he reached this uh, he attained this wisdom at the, before his enlightenment then the second knowledge he had is called chutu upadana that passing away and arising of beings now if of course if you look at the world there are thousands of people thousands of animals various kinds species and so they will die and reborn somewhere so buddha could uh, see them they are passing away and arising somewhere else 
or becoming, re-becoming, reborning again somewhere else. So Buddha see why these rebirths are happening. The main reason for rebirth is the his previous karma, accumulation of good and bad deeds. So then the third knowledge he had is called Asvaka, the, the destruction of the defilements. So these are Pubbe Ananusit. These are the new wisdoms he gained, never heard before. For the first time he experienced these three wisdoms. So these uh, wisdoms help him to gain the knowledge of karma. And he said, I am uh, explaining this karma based on my own personal experience. It is not something speculative. It is not something absolute. It is something practical. It is something happening and uh, something relevant and you, uh, relevant to our life. So Buddha said there are three perennial views, dangerous views, bad views, which will harm our lives. If you entertain, if you have these kind of perennial bad views, those are very harmful to you. One is called that everything happens is due to past karma. This is called Pubbe Katahetua. Just before I mention this word, everything. So if everything happens due to your past karma, you can't do anything because everything is pre-planned, predetermined. And there is no purpose of thinking and doing something because everything is already decided for you. Therefore, there is no value for your thinking, there is no value for your uh, ideas or thoughts. So it is very important that we should have intentions, good intention. So uh, if you go too much behind the astrology, of course nowadays many people uh, go behind if you have problem, any troubles in your life, always you go an astrological reader and get his opinions. What will happen to you when you get this kind of uh, predeterminations or predestined uh, doctrines? That will curtail your skills, that will curtail your potentials because when they say this time of the year is very bad for you, it is not good for you, uh, and uh, now the star, the location of the stars is unfavorable to you, not favorable to you. So when you heard that, you will put uh, that idea inside your mind and you will think again and again that will happen to you because where you think will decide your future, where your intentions, your ideas, uh, if you are open thing, this time of the my life, this period of my life is very not good, not auspicious, unauspicious, bad, I am having a very hard time and it will happen to you because your inner mind, inner chatter, plant this kind of seeds inside your mind, it's very harmful. Then the second uh, view, Buddha said, is, is perennial and dangerous for your uh, uh, spiritual upliftment, spiritual development. That is the idea that everything happened to you is due to the will of a supreme god or Brahma. That uh, during the time of the there was uh, some religious uh, belief in India that Brahma decides everything for you. Nowadays, of course, in this world, there are um, many religions teaches you that uh, the will of the God uh, uh, is the final, and He decided for you. Then you don't have any, re you don't have to take any responsibility for your deeds. And also, uh, finally, if the God decide you to send you to the hell or heaven, that is also the will of the God. It's not you. You don't need to take responsibility of anything because that is the will of the God. So therefore, Buddha said, this is a perennial and bad, uh, wicked view that will harmful to your spiritual development. Because everything you do is your responsibility, not someone's or somebody's responsibility. Then the third belief that is harm and perennial to us is that everything that happens is without a cause, uh, without a reason, 
So this also very uh, very bad type of thinking, very uh, dangerous and uh, kind of thinking because you don't take the responsibility of your actions. The importance of uh, understanding karma is very important because we can take the responsibility and because you will, uh, if you do bad, you will receive bad results and if you do good, you will get uh, good results. Therefore, this will encourage you to have, follow, uh, to do good things. So, uh, therefore, karma is not a determination. It's not a, uh, something like all, everything is determined. Karma, uh, in Buddhist sense, you can change karma, you can amend karma, you can uh, have uh, reduced the effects of the bad karma. That is the very important thing we need to uh, understand. So, for example, when our day-to-day -day life, if somebody gets uh, cancer or some other disease, we always try to... Uh, uh, justify that maybe it is due to bad karma of him or her. But in the Girimananda Sutta, Buddha explained that there are many reasons that we have to, uh, we get sickness. One is called the imbalance of humors or imbalance of uh, bile, imbalance of phlegm, imbalance of air uh, movements in our body or uh, imbalance of the seasonal changes or any other uh, unseen reasons, or having a very bad lifestyles or wrong lifestyles, such as overeating, no exercises, uh, no proper sleep. So th there are so many reasons explained in Buddhism that to you, for you get sickness. And one of the, uh, out of these so many reasons, one of the reasons is called Karma vipakajada, Karma can also can cause some kind of sickness. And also, we have to remember that uh, when our life we have so many incidents happening us, so we don't try to give everything to the karma. Uh, in Buddhism, there are uh, many uh, laws, physical laws, explained in uh, Buddhism: Uttuniyama, Bijaniyama, Dhammaniyama, and Kamaniyama. These are the some uh, reasons explained in Buddhism that uh, uh, there are uh, seasonal changes. For example, we had a tsunami in 2004. Some people say it is due to the bad karma of the people who were living around the coastal area. They have passed away due to the tsunami. But uh, Buddha said that uh, there are seasonal changes such as flooding, earthquakes, or any uh, storms, hurricanes, or these kinds of uh, mudslidings, that is human activity. So we have to see that there are natural causes in the world. So if something happens due to human activities, human uh, interference with the nature, that is not due to your bad karma, not due to your wrong karma, but that is due to the uh, seasonal changes in the world. So therefore, uh, then then do you have the bijaniyama? Bijaniyama is the like biological laws. If you grow uh, vegetables or if you grow some uh, coconut, you will get the coconut. You don't get something else. So, there are these uh, bi biological laws. For example, in our gene system, uh, there are some diseases. Like every 100, uh, 100,000 uh, people get this kind of disease. Like every 1 million people get this kind of disease. Because the uh, genetic uh, kind of changes happens like every... Uh, one million birth every twenty million birth. There are certain dis uh, diseases, so it's not due to the karma. So in that sense, that we need to understand, karma is not uh, predetermined. And uh, then the uh, the uh, another niyama is called dhamma niyama in the reality. 
you know in the world you can see there are uh, people who young will become old it is not due to his uh, bad karma he get old it is the nature it is the reality of the world those who born will gradually get old and die so then the uh, also kamaniyam and chittaniyam the psychological uh, laws or the causes the psychological for example if someone was uh, easily get angry and he cannot control his anger he commit suicide so it is not due to his uh, previous bad karma or uh, present bad karma maybe his psychological reasons he cannot uh, bear up any small pain even so he commit suicide so what is uh, uh, very important for us to understand is uh, that karma affects our rebirth as well so buddha says there are four kinds of karmas in the world one is called dark karma with dark results if you do these bad wicked cruel deeds it will have bad wicked results then bright karma with bright results like giving gen- practicing generosity showing loving kindness or sharing your things are like bright actions with bright results in the world also there are dark and bright with dark and bright results the normally in our life if you look at our life uh, we have mixed uh, ideas about our life you know sometimes every time uh, our motivations if you look deeply uh, our motivations are uh, mixed sometimes we have good motivation behind and also sometimes uh, good and bad mixed together so these kind of uh, actions are called dark and bright actions with dark and bright results then there are some actions in the world that is neither dark nor bright neither it uh, produces uh, dark or bright results so these are the four kinds of uh, actions there are in the world so friends uh, in buddhism what is we very important to understand is karma don't make a karma predetermination it is taught by the nigantana taputta one of the religious leader lived during the time of the buddha and this is not buddhism so karma can be changed karma can be modified karma can be uh, diluted like uh, buddha say gave a example in like the moon covered with uh, dark clouds it can come out from dark clouds and become bright again similarly if you have done very bad wicked karma in the past but if you start doing good things in the present and start doing good uh, action in the present you can avoid and reduce the effects of bad karma so there are for friends uh, buddha said that uh, we must kusalena pitiyati we must cover the bad deeds with good deeds so that the effects of the bad deeds can be reduced Buddha gave a very nice example in Lonapala Sutta where Buddha said that if you mix a, a pinch of salt or lump of salt into a cup of water it is so salty and you cannot drink same amount of salt you mix to a river like Gange or uh, Kalani it won't have that effects uh, have on the glass of water so similarly if a person doing very bad things uh, every day and if he has done a very small good thing the effects of good thing will cannot have effects but if a person is doing many good things every day his behavior is good his character is good and accidentally or uh, he made uh, some bad deeds the effects of his bad will, deed will be uh, reduced because he has done so much good things in his uh, continuously in his life so therefore friends karma is something you can change something you can amend something you can uh, reduce the effects of it so try to you don't regret about the past okay i have d- done this bad thing i have done that bad thing but from present moment onwards you can change yourself and change to better life that is why angulimala could became a arahant because he didn't think about the bad things he did he uh, Uh, started fresh 
and had a good spiritual life from the day onwards he became a monk so they are for friends let us do many good things may the buddha dhamma and sangha guide you protect you and bless you namo buddhaya the buddhist sermon for today was given by the venerable baragama pieratanathera <laughs> <laughs>